In this video, we will see whether the statistical picture of entropy is true or not. It will be based on the example of Joule expansion, which you have seen in the video on entropy maximization. Here we will calculate the entropy change in Joule expansion from statistical mechanics. In classical mechanics, we have seen that the entire entropy change in Joule expansion is the entropy produced and it was equal to R natural log of 2. Now let us use what we have derived as the statistical interpretation of entropy. For the initial state, S1 equals K natural log of W1. After the expansion, S2 equals K natural log of W2. Now to find W1 and W2, we need discrete entities of whatever that is going to change between these two states. We may have a separate video on this discretization. Here we will see a necessary glimpse of it. In the 1000 coins example in the previous video, we had a configuration such as 500 heads and 500 tails. It had microstates counting to 10 power 299. It was possible to calculate such a thing because we had discrete entities of heads and tails so that we could count them. Now when it comes to state change of a gas, properties like pressure, volume, temperature move to different values. These are continuous values. But we can discretize it. It can be done by fundamentally discretizing position and momentum of particles. Momentum changes when velocity of particles change. In Joule expansion, Internal energy is constant, so the velocity is not changing here. So we can ignore momentum and discretize only positions of particles. Now let's keep our result from classical thermodynamics here. Let's take the volume in state 1 and 2, discretize it into small volumes of A cube. A being an arbitrary small number. Therefore, in state 1, each atom can have V1 divided by A cube positions. The total number of atoms is N, which is the Avogadro number since our gas quantity is 1 mole. For N atoms, we have to multiply this probability N times. Therefore, W1 turns out to be this. Similarly, for the final state, we can calculate W2 to be this. When we want to find out the entropy change between final and initial state, we get delta S equals K natural log of W2 divided by W1, which is equal to K natural log of V2 divided by V1 power N. That is equal to N K natural log of 2. Now look at these two expressions. They look same, a constant multiplied by natural log of 2. Therefore, the statistical interpretation of entropy is true. The constant R in classical entropy is now equal to NK in the statistical entropy. Therefore, the constant K is R divided by N which is the Boltzmann constant. We have seen it in the video on ideal gas. The formula K natural log of W gives the physical meaning for entropy as a measure of microstates corresponding to the most probable macrostate. Entropy ultimately is a measure of pure chance.